What do you think, uh, what skill sets do you think uh, from a receiver maximize Deshaun Watson's uh, talents as a quarterback? What, what plays with what he does well? Well, well Will Fuller was a great down the field vertical receiver. He was not durable. Uh, one of the reasons he would, he would hurt, I think if you go back through and look at Deshaun's numbers when, when Fuller was playing and he wasn't, they're kind of different. I think he needs a vertical guy that can make plays on the deep ball, that can catch the deep ball. It's not so much getting open. Schwartz can get open. The problem is, can he catch the ball when he got open? That's always just the problem with Schwartz coming out of Auburn. So I think you have to find the right blend. You're receiving, building a receiving core is a little bit like building a basketball team. You want to have certain positions so that you can utilize the matchups as it comes to the corners on the field. And you want to have a big guy, you want to have a mid sized guy want to have a point guard type guy but for for Watson to be successful his yards per attempt down the field it's got to be explosive plays because there's going to be too many times where you're going to be inconsistent but you got to hit that home run and I think he needs that kind of guy who can track the ball down the field and make plays so these are some guys that are potentially available um, via trade the you know, they're, they're thinking that they're, T. Higgins, they're tagging him. Bengals aren't trading him to the Browns. Brandon Ayuk, he's going to cost a lot. Deontay Johnson, Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, those guys you, you might be able to get. Uh, Mike Williams I would throw in there from the Chargers. Do, do any of those guys play to with what Watson does well, do you think? Mike Williams certainly does, but he's coming off an ACL, so you got to be worried about that. Brandon Ayuk's a free agent. You can just sign him if the 49ers don't sign him. He would be an outside receiver. So, you know, too often we just label position receiver, and some guys are inside receivers, and some guys are outside. T. Higgins is a number one outside receiver, but he's got Jamar Chase on the other side, which helps him tremendously. So when they roll the coverage to Chase, Higgins can win against him. I think you have to find somebody that can play outside receiver. That's the key. When you have, you know, Devo Samuel, for as great as he is with the ball in his hands, he's not an outside receiver. He's an inside receiver. He's a running back that plays wide receiver, and he does it fabulous. But as a route runner, that's not his specialty. His specialty is running a five-yard slant and taking it to the house. And I think that's two things that Watson needs. He needs a big receiver for the inside routes, and he needs somebody to track the ball down the field.